Pull up a nice hit, Quinn. Now let's get out of here. On it. Just a few quick calculations and... You better work on it fast. I can hear somebody coming. Oh, it's only Savoni. Oh my God! I'm worried it's gonna be a little bit confusing. An initial temporal shift causes the rise of a totalitarian regime which thrives off violence. What's so confusing about that? Not that. Huh? This. A temporal shift wouldn't just cause one alternate universe, it would cause thousands. Yep, yeah, but do we have to show all thousand? No, no, just these 33. We have 40 minutes to tell a story, Ron. Your script requires a flowchart. It gets to have a flowchart. For the Blu-ray set, we can have graphics mock it up and put it in. There won't be a Blu-ray set unless we make some compromises and tell a clear, accessible story. Good fiction isn't clear and accessible. Well, ratings are. You sound like Tyler. Maybe you should also get some of his high heels. They're not high heels, they just aren't sneakers. What? Why is there only candy corn here? There's Twix and Snickers in there too. No, there isn't. Somebody broke in and stole them. Is this Hitler? No, it's Quinn. Oh, Quinn 13, technically. So you can tell the difference between each universe by subtle variations in the hairstyle and how they fashion their sideburns. So in this universe, people wear Hitler mustaches? Well, yeah, because he won. And how many of these universes did the Nazis win World War II? Ron? I'm counting. Come on! How about just two universes? One good, one evil. How about one boring and one sellout? Compromises, Ron. Four alternate universes. Three. Okay, but the time travel stays positronic. No, it requires too much exposition. Uh, slingshot around the sun. And then they go and save the dolphins. Fine. Uh, Tachyon wave. We already used tachyon waves to explain Quinn's superpowers in Ubermensch meets his Ubermatch. Right. Uh, okay, so they fly around the Earth backwards so many times that the Earth's rotation changes. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, it's supernova. Wormhole. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, hey, Tyler, how about them cubbies? Well, we should definitely send some flowers, you know. Yeah, something tasteful. Yeah, that's tasteful. I'll write the note. Okay. I just can't believe he's gone. Who are them cubbies? It's baseball. I'm trying to get better at small talk. My advice is don't just say whatever random stuff pops into your head. Is that Hitler? Oh, no. No, there's... I was just talking to some of the sci-fi guys. Uh-huh. That's where the funeral service is going to be? Okay. It's not science fiction. It's speculative fiction. He's an executive. He wants to call it sci-fi. It's sci-fi. Okay. All right. Everything okay? Not really. Paul Hornsey was eaten by a grizzly bear yesterday. Jesus. Who? Paul. Hornsey. Star of grizzly wrestlers. From our History Comes Alive block on Wednesday nights. You see, we've been using domesticated grizzly bears to save on insurance, and it was something that Paul kind of didn't know about, and once he found out, he went rogue. So, he tried wrestling grizzlies in the wild. You can domesticate a grizzly bear? Can we use Hitler, actually? We're doing this whole, like, sweep sweep thing where we just do, like, all Nazis. Maybe, like, Hitler gets cryogenically frozen like Stallone in, in, in Demolition Man? So, the story actually isn't so much about, like, Hitler being alive, per se. It's more about the repercussions of what if, due to a temporal shift, he actually won World War II. And they use seashells instead of toilet paper now. See, I know my science fiction, guys. <laughs> speculative fiction. It's not science fiction, it's speculative fiction. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. You are going to love it. See? Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Yeah, it's great. Uh huh. What's it for? Well, we had an FX house put this together for our History of Men in Space series. Apparently, the Korean words for sparkler and American flag are very similar. So, you guys are gonna use it. So we have to use this in our show? We get to use it in our show. Just like those politicians get to use any old thing to gum up the works in Washington, D.C. Anyway, we get to save a lot of money on our motion graphics budget, so. Okay, I'm clearly the only person here who understands how sparklers work. <laughs>
analogy to write. You see, if you're not going to make compromises, you're going to get eaten by a grizzly bear. That's the lesson? That's not the Savonius from our universe. That's right, Quinn Prime. And I brought a friend. Hey, you hit that Pharaoh Prime, quick, light the signal flare. 